Fact or fiction, the hook on it's gonna be me has that May punctuation because Justin got a note from a producer that was, yeah, I need you to say it more like May, like a meaner me. Uh, I don't remember if the specifics were a meaner me, but I was, I sang, it's gonna be me. And he was like, no, 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 no. And he was like, it's May, it's yeah. May. It's gonna be May. Yeah, I knew one day they're gonna invent this thing called memes. memes. <laughs> Yeah, while NSYNC was saying bye, 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 bye. to their taste buds on Hot One season 22 Memes. premiere. Uh oh. Oh yeah, there it comes. <coughs> oh yeah, there it goes. Wrong order. Stop. Ooh. Justin Timberlake spilled deets on the origin behind his viral "It's Gonna Be May" meme. I'm just enjoying the ride. It's a ride Justin goes on every year as the band's song makes its rounds on social media near the end of April. All thanks to how JT uniquely pronounced the word "me." And now Justin's revealing who's truly responsible for that internet gem, giving credit to, or maybe calling out the Swedish producers behind the track. I sang, it's gonna be me. And he was like, no, 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 no. And he was like, it's May. Yeah. May. You also remember their Swedish accent. Yeah, yeah he and, is. And they, were, and they was, had done it, a demo of it, and they were like, it's like this. They would put words away that almost didn't make sense, but when you sang them, they were more memorable. It's gonna be May. It was a specific note that I got, and I was just like, this guy's crazy. <laughs> and this uh, is gonna be so meme worthy. <laughs> yeah, I knew one day they're gonna invent this thing called oh, memes. memes. <laughs> but yes, it was a specific note, and I, I did it the way that he requested, and that's what made the record. Justin's explanation comes just days after he poked fun at the meme on TikTok. It's crazy. The singer sharing this video, which now has over 30 million views, answering the prompt. It's a word you pronounced incorrectly one time and it still haunts you to this day. Justin's answer? Um, me. It's gonna be me. But hey, NSYNC fans are so here for the nostalgia, especially since the group reunited at the MTV VMAs. Over 20 years ago, we were just kids when we won Best Pop Video for Bye Bye Bye. It was our first VMA and it meant the world to us. And that reunion quickly sparked tour rumors. But at 90s Con over the weekend, Joey Fatone set the record straight. No, I do not know if there is a tour. Trust me, you're being heard. In the meantime, NSYNC is giving fans a new song, Better Place, for the third Trolls movie. Just let me take you to a better place. Who's ready for a reunion? I don't mind the Trolls faster, faster, faster. Just let me take you to a I think the trick was to try to capture both, you know, to for our fans that have been with us for so long, you know, to give them something that felt not necessarily nostalgic, but familiar. And then, you know, see if we could, you know, take that sound and, and make it feel modern. As for if fans will hear the song live, well, Joey says that's not totally out of the question. Obviously, uh, Justin's gonna be coming up with his album, so he's gonna be probably doing a tour, so I'm sure he's doing that, and then we're gonna hopefully cross our fingers, I can't promise, but hopefully do something together. We're gonna, 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 we're gonna,